In a former gold mine a mile underground, inside a titanium tank filled with rare liquefied gas, scientists have begun the search for what so far has been unfindable, dark matter. Scientists are pretty sure the invisible stuff makes up most of the universe's mass and say we wouldn't be here without it, but they don't know what it is. The race to solve this enormous mystery has brought one team to the depths under Leeds, South Dakota. The question for scientists is basic, says Kevin Lesko, a physicist at Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory. He continues, what is this great place I live in? Right now, 95% of it is a mystery, he says. The idea that a mile of dirt and rock, a giant tank, and a second tank in the purest titanium in the world will block nearly all the cosmic rays and particles that zip around and through all of us every day. But dark matter particles, scientists think, can avoid those obstacles. They hope one will fly into a vat of liquid xenon in the intertank and smash into a xenon nucleus like two balls in a game of pool, revealing its existence in a flash of light seen by a device called the Time Projection Chamber. Scientists announced Thursday that the five-year, $60 million search finally got underway two months ago after a delay caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. So far, the device has found nothing, at least no dark matter. That's okay, they say. The equipment appears to be working to filter out most of the background radiation they hope to block. To search for this rare type of interaction, job number one is to get rid of all the ordinary sources of radiation, which would overwhelm the experiment, said University of Maryland physicist Carter Hall. And if all their calculations and theories are right, they figure they'll see only a couple of fleeting signs of dark matter a year. The team of 250 scientists estimates they'll get 20 times more data over the next couple of years. By the time the experiment finishes, the chance of finding dark matter with this device is probably less than 50%, but more than 10%, said Hugh Lippincott, a physicist and spokesperson for the experiment. Kevin Lesko adds, while that's far from a sure thing, you'll need a little enthusiasm. You don't go into rare search physics without hoping to find something, he adds. Two hulking depression air hoists run an elevator that brings scientists to what's called the Lux Zeppelin experiment in the Sanford Underground Research Facility. A 10-minute descent ends in a tunnel with cool-to-touch walls lined with netting, but the old musty mine soon leads into a high-tech lab where dirt and contamination is the enemy. Helmets are exchanged for newer, cleaner ones, and a new double layer of baby blue booties go over steel-toed boots. The heart of the experiment is the giant tank called the cryostat. Jeff Cherwinka, the lead engineer, said in December of 2019's tour before the device was closed and filled, he says it was like a thermos made of a perhaps the purest titanium in the world designed to keep the liquid xenon cold and keep the background radiation to a minimum. Xenon is special explained experiment physicist coordinator Aaron Malanese. Because it allows researchers to see if a collision is with one of its electrons or with its nucleus. If something hits a nucleus, it's more likely to be the dark matter that everyone is looking for, he said. The scientists tried a similar, smaller experiment here a few years ago. After coming up empty, they figured they had to go much bigger the scientists are trying to understand why the universe is not what it seems. One part of the mystery is dark matter, which has by far most of the mass in the cosmos. Astronomers know it's there because when they measure the stars and other regular matter in galaxies, they find that there's not nearly enough gravity to hold these clusters together. If nothing else was out there, galaxies, they feel, would quickly fly apart, Manalese says. It is essentially impossible to understand our observation of history or evolution, cosmos without dark matter, Manalese said. Lippincott, a University of California Santa Barbara physicist, said, quote, We would not be here without dark matter, close quote. So while there's little doubt that dark matter exists, there's a lot of doubt 
about what it is. The leading theory is that it involves things called WIMPS, WIMPS, Weekly Interacting Massive Particles. That's the cause. Lux Zeppelin could be able to detect them. We want to find, quote, where the wimps can be hiding, Lippincott said. For the Lockhart Perspective, this is Felicia Lockhart. The Lockhart Perspective.